Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Prisam Hanani Pamudi with student number 8. 1000122 And I would like to present my material about human trafficking to both the, the academic speaking uh, midterm Zainan. <clears throat> So the title of my material is Modern Slavery, Trafficking in Human Beings. The definition of human trafficking. What is human trafficking? The most widely cited definition of human trafficking is in the United States human protocol to prevent, suppress, and punish trafficking in person. Human trafficking is the recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, and receipt uh, receipt of people through first fraud or deception with the aim of exploiting them for profit. Human trafficking has, has received increasing global attention over the past decade. Initially, trafficking of women and girls for, for sex work and to a lesser extent domestic servitude were the solely focus of advocacy and assistance. Today, there is a connection that women, children, and men are to break into many different forms of labor and for sexual exploitation. How common is human trafficking? Trafficking is reported to involve nearly every part of the world as places of origin or recruitment, transit or destination, and that this illegal trade in humans is believed to reap enormous profits for trafficking agents. Presence figures at the global or even local level women elusive, reliable data on trafficking are, are difficult to obtain owing to its illegal, often invisible nature, the range and severity, severity of trafficking activities. And variation in how trafficking is defined. This and other factors also blur the distinction between trafficked persons, extremely vulnerable migrants, and exploited laborers. In federal, may be trafficked with their own country and across international borders. Trafficking is reported to involve nearly every part of the world. The next is human trafficking, gender crime. Although a woman, women, men, and children may all be trafficked for various purposes, trafficking is often a gender crime. Current evidence truly suggests that those who are trafficked into the sex and industry and as domestic servants are more likely to be women and children. Reports on trafficking of males indicate that men and boys are more commonly trafficked for various other forms of of labor and that the trafficking sectors generally differ by country or region. The effects of human trafficking. The first one is poor mental health. Physiological consequences include the depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and other anxiety disorders told of suicide. Poor mental health is a dominant and persistent adverse health event associated with human trafficking. The psychological consequences include depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and other anxiety disorder thought of suicide, and somatic condition including disabling physical pain and dysfunction. And the second one is physical and sexual violence. Physical violence includes a beating, burning, kicking, punching, biting, maiming, or killing, or the use of, uh, of objects or weapons. Human trafficking and sexual assault are both traumatic crimes, promising bandage power, control, abuse, and exploitation of another human being. Sexual assault can be verbal. A visual, physical, or another that first a person to be subjected to or engaged in an unwanted sexual contact. Examples of this include inappropriate touching, rap, attempted rap, child molestation and abuse, incest, exhib exhibitionism, or fondling. The next is drugs. First, First use of drugs and alcohol is frequent in sex trafficking. Drugs and alcohol may be used as a means to control individuals and increase profits, or as copy method, or by the trafficked person as a copy method. 
and the next is impulse social and the next is social isolation impulse social isolation such as prevention of family contact or restrict restriction of the per person's movement is used to maintain power over people and trafficking situation. As is ma emotional manipulation by the use of trust and false promises. And uh, last is uh, organ harvesting. The expert, experts also highlighted that in conflict situation, organ harvesting trafficking is another concern. Along with the enforcement and ability to regulate and control armed groups and other tropical finance domestically and across borders. What are the best approaches to human trafficking? The first one is for policymakers. At a policy level, regulatory steps are needed to increase awareness of the risk of human trafficking, especially among individuals intending to migrate. Government should maintain acute and longer term provisions of healthcare to trafficked person. This could be achieved, for example, with when such individual immediate rise to state supported health services, regardless for the ability to pay our willingness to, per to participate in a criminal action against trafficking and committing the necessary financial and human resources. The next is for healthcare providers. Healthcare providers and organizations involved with trafficked persons should increase the capacity to identify and refer people in trafficking situation and provide sensitive and safe services to people post-trafficking. And the last is for researchers and funders. Empirical research on, uh, on human trafficking is limited, particularly lacking our studies on largest, more potentially representative samples of trafficked people and longer term studies on uh, with uh, Anderson Post trafficking health changes. Empirical data on trafficking of men, their health needs and service access is especially scarce. The next is what happens today. Separated and vulnerable. Conflicts, first displacement, displacement, climate change, inequality and poverty have, have left Tens of millions of people around the world desolate, isolated, and vulnerable. And the COVID 19 pandemic has separated children and young people in general for, from their friends and peers, pushing them into spending more time alone and online. Human traffickers are, are taking advantage of these vulnerabilities using sophisticated technology to identify, track, control, and exploit victims. Second is cyber space trafficking. Often using the so-called dark web, online platforms allow criminals to recruit people with false promises. And technology anonymously allows dangerous and degrading content that fuels human trafficking, include, including the sexual exploitation of children. The next is tag dangers. The bottomless nature of information and communication technologies, or ICD, enable traffickers to expand their reach and profit with even greater impunity. More than 60% of human of known human trafficking victims of the last 15 years have been women and girls. Most most of them traffic for sexual exploitation, and as conflict increases, increased misery, countless others are in danger of being targeted with false with promises of opportunities, jobs, and a better life. The next is safeguard online spaces. To protect people, digital spaces must be shielded from from criminal abuse by harnessing technology for good. Partnership with tech companies and the private sector can keep traffickers from preying on the vulnerable and stop the circulation of online content that amplifies the suffering of trafficking victims. With the right support, law enforcement can use artificial intelligence data mining and other tools to detect and, and in investigate trafficking network. The next is online safety. Below are several safety tips to keep in mind. 
The first one is don't share personal information. Second one is never accept a friend request from someone you don't know in real life. And the next is if you plan to meet someone you met online in person, it should be in a public setting, like a restaurant or a coffee shop, and let a trusted friend know who where and when you are meeting. Next is do your research on a job offer that seems to go to the truth. The next is if someone isn't what they seem to be or you think you are being lured into a potentially exploitative situation, tell a trusted adult. And the last is trust your instincts. If someone feels wrong about a conversation you are having with someone online, stop the conversation and block their profile. I think that's all from me. That's all my presentation about human trafficking. Thank, Thank you. you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Up here.